Hey guys! This is just to serve as a friendly reminder that how other people make their money is none of your fucking business. So over the past couple weeks, I've been getting a lot of DMs on Twitter from a bunch of different people who wanted me to make a video about FOSTA. I didn't know what the fuck that was, so I did me some Googles, and boy did I find some gold! The FOSTA SESTA bill sounds like a great idea. I love the policing of women's bodies, it really gets me going. So in case you agree with me and think that this is way too many fucking acronyms, the FOSTA SESTA the bill literally stands for Fight Online Sex Trafficking Act and Stop Enabling Sex Traffickers Act. It was introduced by a Republican and we know how much they care about marginalized folks. I didn't even have it in me to come up with some satirical shit for this video because these biscuit head assholes are so crazy. So here's the jig. Since like the mid-1990s, Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act has protected websites from the shit that we post on there. Which basically means, if I tweet some titties, ain't nobody gonna go to Twitter and be like, you nasty asshole. It protects the sites from the shit we put on the sites. So when shit like this gets put into play, websites like Backpage, which is an ex escort service page or the personal section of Craigslist, those sites get targeted because now they're responsible for the shit that can happen in the event of human trafficking. This kind of shit takes away the ability for sex workers to vet their clients before meeting them or doing background checks or doing shit to ensure their safety. Now I was scrolling through this hashtag, I wanted to know the extent of this, like I wanted to hear it from like actual sex workers how this was affecting them. And of course some of these patty whack ass bitches had to come out the woodworks talking about some ooh you give feminism a bad name. Bitch, you're out of the club. It's not how it works. It's not how any of it works. Oh, but what about the pimps? Bitch, it's a pimp! A pimp gon' pimp. You think a pimp just not gon' pimp cause all of a sudden he can't pimp online no more? This shit makes it worse. How does it make it worse? Freedom Network USA, which is the biggest net of organizations that works against human trafficking in America, literally said that most traffickers are caught through digital footprints left behind on sites like this. You are essentially attacking one of the only ways that people can find human traffickers. You think homeboy is just gonna wake up and be like, oh, I see the websites have closed. Very well, very well, scurry back home. And another thing, I'm tired of y'all shaming sex workers in general. I'm not a sex worker, but bitch, I'm trying to see some titties. We all trying to see some titties in this life. There's a lot of people who are like, oh, sex work is easy work, they're lazy. Who the fuck cares? It's not your money, it's not your bills. And I'm confused about which part of that shit looks easy to you. Sis, I'm tired before I even open up the browser. It's already time for a nap. Y'all gotta pay for costumes and shit. Nipple tassels just go into waste. Silicone is not cheap. And if it is cheap, you shouldn't be using it. Y'all gotta market and shit. I'm not fucking ready to market. It's too much. I'm too tired. If you need a bigger fucking picture than that, it's not just gonna affect shit like sex workers. It's gonna affect shit like Twitter. When I wake up in the morning and I tweet, bitch, I'm ready to die. I can only tweet that because Twitter's not liable for the shit that I put online. Y'all probably noticed that a bunch of accounts are getting suspended now for trigger words like death, destruction, normal everyday young adult shit. The Nazis are fine. Worry not, you bioluminescent ass hoes. But mention a titty and it's over. It's done. Say goodbye to your followers. Now there's a Baylor University study that is often cited when it comes to arguments like this, the link to it and a couple other things will be down in the description box below for those of you hoes that can read. It's called Craigslist Effect on Violence Against Women and it's by Scott Cunningham and a few of his colleagues. These Craigslist escort ads basically reduced homicide rates in women from 2002 to 2010 by 17.4%. Now some of you pop tart ass hoes are gonna be like, well it's such a small number. Bitch, it's still a number. All you bitches just need to start minding your own genitals. So what can we do to help if we do give a shit? Bitch, I don't know. The world is falling apart and all I can do is get on the internet and yodel on occasion. But you can read about it because I'm gonna include a bunch of links that brought me to my decision on the topic in the description box. You really are for this bill, I want to know why in the comments. I don't give a shit, it's not gonna change my opinion, but I want to know what the fuck y'all smoking, so let me know. Bye!